How can you easily have certificates for all your users or services in different environments while also maintaining zero trust and the ability to integrate with other GCP services? I'm glad you asked. Certificate Authority Service, CAS, has an answer. Let's learn a bit more about it. When your organization is running on multiple environments and you need them to be able to talk to each other while maintaining zero trust, it can be hard to find a solution for certificates that isn't laborious and inefficient. You can have your identity provider trust multiple different certificate authorities and then make sure there's access to the same certificates at runtime, which increases risk and pushes responsibility for doing federation to the service, you can create a middleware solution with admin access on both sides, but then you have to deal with the challenges of authoring, deploying, maintaining, scaling, and everything else that comes with building a service. Or you have to create a whole new identity provider and recreate all the accounts in it, which if you have 10,000 accounts, takes a long time and isn't very efficient. And none of these options would allow you to easily have integration with other Google Cloud services that you may already use today. Thankfully, CAS can help. You can use CAS with Workload Identity Federation and obtain a certificate to attest to third-party identities on-prem or in other clouds. Workload Identity Federation leverages workload identity pools to give third-party identities access to Google Cloud services. You can grant on-premise or multi-cloud workloads access to Google Cloud resources without using a service account key. Using CAS allows you to use your current identity provider and existing credentials for a certificate for all your users or services across the globe. Meaning, you can talk to workloads on-prem or in other clouds and get point-to-point -point connectivity to Google Cloud services across a single network with zero trust principles. You also avoid manually configuring access policies using IP addresses, and you can issue certificates at scale with the principle of least privilege, saving significant time and resources while increasing security. Plus, if you're on-prem, it makes it easier to move stuff to the cloud in the future if needed, because your identity information is all set up and doesn't change. Let's imagine you're an organization with 10,000 users and you have Microsoft Active Directory as your identity provider. Each person has an account integrated with their email, their calendar, their passwords, etc., and you want each user to get a certificate so that your workload's on-prem can talk securely to workloads in GCP. You can now issue a certificate from CA service reflecting their federated identity. You don't have to go and recreate all these identities in another provider or one of the other cumbersome options we discussed earlier. And the setup is pretty simple. First, create a workload ID pool with your ID provider and teach CA service which part of the ID token should be reflected in the certificate. Then, configure CAS workload with the workload certificate requester IAM role. Next, configure workloads to perform token exchange with SDS before requesting certificates from CAS. Then, request a certificate from CAS using the reflected spiffy subject mode. And finally, let it run. And every workload that wants a certificate will be given a credential that was previously set up and this is then allowed to be exchanged for a certificate. What's really nice is that all of these steps can be fully automated. So as soon as you bring a workload to life, it can get a certificate and talk to the right environment securely. If you'd like to know more about CAS, how it increases security and efficiency and decreases risk with third-party environments, or want to see detailed instructions on how to set it up, please check out the links in the description below. Until next time, thanks for watching.